Welcome back everybody to another Sui Shays video with me on a beautiful day. Thank you guys so much for clicking into my video and for joining me. Whether you're an existing user or a new user, welcome, come on in. Thank you again for being here. Hashtag Team All Blade, hashtag No Blade Left Behind, guys. I am thrilled. I am so excited to be demonstrating and showcasing a razor I received a little earlier from my buddy Roger, right? From a guy that I really, truly appreciate, somebody I really admire, a guy that really thinks outside the box. And you know how I feel on the channel, guys. I believe it in thinking outside the shave box, guys. And when we talk about the shave box, this guy reinvents the box. Today, we're going to be using the green handle Ender's styled, right? It's the End Gem Speed Razor, guys. It does have that Ender's styled S shape on the handle, but it uses a gem razor blade. It almost looks like a lather catcher with that head cap, right? Take a look where all the lather is going to go. Oh my goodness, who is stoked, guys? Who is as excited as me? I don't, none of you can compare to the excitement that I have right now. I have so much excitement in my heart, I cannot even tell you guys. I'm gonna have to lay down after this. I just, I am pumped, I am thrilled. These are razors that I think really showcase what can be made in a modern era for shavery that can be available globally, right? All you have to do is print the file and you're ready to go. Really cool razor, again, the End Gem Speed by Roger, guys. And I found out he has a channel and he, does, he did a little loading um, example video for this razor. I will make sure that is in the description below. So if you guys are watching this and you're like, ooh, I wanna go see what Roger's also done, I'll provide a link to his channel, guys. Really cool, Roger is the man. He's the guru behind the 3D prints, guys. I'm telling you, woo! And today we're gonna be battling the two and the three razor, guys. The two and the three. Why? Because I really want to know how they shave side by side. And I want you to, if you're printing these, to understand how, which one you're going to kind of want, where they, where they kind of stack up against each other. And hopefully we don't end up with any blood. That's the hope, guys. That's the hope. I'm super excited. Hopefully this is going to be entertaining, educational, and exciting, guys. All right. I'm going to stop showing you guys those razors, right? We are going to be, I just want to mention, we're going to be doing a little comparison to the original. Just showing you guys how it you know, looks, stacks up, and fills in the hand. But today, as far as soap goes, we're also going green, guys. We're going straight green. This is my favorite green scent, actually. If you were to say soups, what is your favorite green scent? It's got to be this one right here. This is Italian Holiday by Holy Call. It's an amazing scent. It's very fresh to me. I really enjoy this. It does not have the raspberry undertones, at least as strongly as Vorvita's. So if you bought Vorvita and you're like, it's too sweet, try this. It's going to give you some of the same notes without having the sweetness of the raspberry. I love this. I think this is a beautiful summer scent, guys. I really enjoy that scent. This again, the Bear Cero Base by Holy Ka and the Italian Holiday. Keep in mind, this is the ver the last iteration of the Bear Cero, guys. He did change it. Suri actually went in and modified it to have less animal smell. So I don't know. I'm using the uh, last variation, but I like it. It's strong, guys. Honestly, I don't get any animal scent out of that um, puck because of how strong the scent really is. And we're going to go on top of that with um, Ita Italian Holiday with... Uh, this is Iced Tea by Holy Ka. We're going to go right on top of it. This has a lot of green notes due to the cucumber in it. It's a very nice cucumbery smell. To, it smells to me like, like a, going to a spa, right? It's like a cucumber aquatic that's just really nice. Very clean smelling with a little bit of mint at the end. Really nice scent, guys. I do have it already lathered up with my Mountain Hair Shaving Brush. Guys, take a look at this. This is a brush by Germs. Over at Mountain Hair Shaving, Jerems is the shave dad, if you didn't know. And man, he makes a beautiful brush. Guys, just take a look at the amount of shimmer to that. Look at that. And it is a hybrid, guys, in Badger. And I want to show you guys just how good the lather turned out today. Because today it was absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely beyond words ridiculous, guys. Look at this. That is soap. That is not some crazy level of pudding right there, guys. That is not white pudding. Take a look at this. It is very shiny. You can almost see your reflection in this um, soap, guys. Very clean smelling, and it has just so much green to it. Absolutely phenomenal. It does not take a lot of soap to produce this amount of product, guys. And the post shave, it is that bare cereal post shave, guys. It's amazing. Really, it's one of the most expensive shave soaps I've purchased, and it's always worth it from Holy Cow. Sri absolutely kills it for me, personally, with uh, the quality. Really, really good stuff, guys. Really nice stuff. 
And today, because we're using green handled razors, I don't know if Roger knew that, but I love green, right? Green is my color. I love green. So seeing green with the green, with the green, perfect. I love forest green, so I'm stoked. Guys, let's go load this up. Let me show you how we load it and put it together on the Subi Hat Cam Angle, and we'll go from there. Check it out, guys. Here we are on the Subi Hat Cam Angle with the End Gem Speed Razor developed designed and inspired by Roger guys, the 3D printing guru. Take a look at this guys. Oh, look at that one through three denoted by the little dots right here. Guys, take a look one through three on adjustable aggressiveness. And these are a one piece designed razor guys. Very similar to this razor of old guys. You've seen me use it about five different times. This is the Ender's Speed Razor, right? And it's become very popular thanks to Lone Shadow's um, development and institution with the blade um, hack that he developed, guys, that really makes loading an injector blade very easy. This is similar to that, but it takes a gem blade, guys. It takes a gem-styled blade in the end gem speed. It's got these little um, cutouts right here on the side of the S handle, guys, that this razor on my left does not have. These little cutouts are extraordinarily nice. I wish so much that this razor had them. So much, guys. So much that I would be willing to try to figure out how to swap this head to this handle someday. Like, this handle is so much more comfortable in the hand. Roger really developed something that I think is much more comfortable. And I love how deep this etching is on the uh, label because it allows it to have a little bit more grip. It is not slippery by any means, guys. And I am thrilled right now, guys. Honestly, I am over the moon, ecstatic. I am stoked, guys, beyond words. Can, I can't even express it, right? how excited I am to be using these razors and doing a little battle shave. I'm excited beyond words. Yes, guys. Today, how we're going to be doing it is I want to shave with the two and the three side by side and compare them and kind of see how they shave side by side with you guys on camera. So we're going to make it quick today. I want to show you guys how it loads because they both load the same way. We're only going to use one blade so I don't have to waste blades here, but I wanted to show you guys just how easy it is to load. We're going to load the three and how it works is you take your blade, and I'm going to mention this. Roger actually has a YouTube channel, and he demonstrated how to load this on his channel much better than I probably will do here. But I wanted to show you guys some things that I noticed um, that, that, that Roger doesn't really talk about because there's not really any um, speaking on his channel. If you look here, guys, you see that little hole? That is where your blade spine needs to go. And because of the size of this, you're not going to be able to fit like a, 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 you know, a DE blade or really an injector blade even because you have to be able to fit this full space and it has to go into that little slot. And keep in mind that slot is actually extremely tight because that's what's holding the blade to get in place. And how it works, guys, is you put your blade in just like this and then you push it up. You push it up into that, into that notch right there. And then what I do is I kind of just wiggled it right into place like this. You can see it's not hard to do whatsoever. It's really fast to load. And you know you've done it right because the blade will fit right in that little spine indent hole right there. You see that little spine indent hole, guys? That is critical. I actually tried grabbing like a little um, blade box and pressing it back further. But that is as far back as it will go. So right there seems to be the ideal spot for this razor. Take a look, guys. And take a look at the exposure here. Keep in mind, this is the three dot. So this is going to be the slightly more efficient shaver. I don't try to use the word aggressive by any means because I know that is kind of uh, a trigger word and it can be personal, right? It can be something that other people don't agree with. But there you guys go. This is the more most efficient version of the N gem speed or the speed gem N or the, however you want to call it, right? The the N gem speed guys, as it's denoted here. Really cool. Again, a Roger inspired and I'm just absolutely thankful that Roger reached out and has given me the opportunity to use his inventions, right? This is his invention, his concept, and I'm so excited to be giving it a shave today. Keep in mind, we're going to go back and forth with these two. They lay a little up the same way, so I'll do a little bit of editing so we don't have to waste a blade. But here you guys go. Let's go see how this does on the skin with all 17 grams of it. 
come with me. And welcome back from the Subi Hat Cam Angle, everybody. I hope that's entertaining, I hope that's exciting, and I hope that gives you guys an up-close perspective on how we load and use the NGEM Speed Razor, guys. I think it's really cool. I think it's a fascinating concept, and I really love that they've taken the, uh, that Roger took the, the Ender Speed Razor design and kind of improved it to use a modern day blade. I really like that. I know a lot of us are using injector blades in this razor right here, thanks to Lone, uh, Lone Shadow's awesome, Ian's awesome adaption for the, um, the blade. But this is just kind of like a, I mean, it is a little larger when you compare it perspectively, but I love the idea that you don't have to do any fiddling or any, you know, tinkering to get that blade in there and get it shaving. Let's find out right now Let's do it and see how it knocks down all this stubble, guys. I've got 30 hours underneath this holy cow, beautiful soap. We're going to see if it gets through the soap and the stubble. I am thrilled. Here we go, guys. And again, this is going to be a test shave a battle. So we're going to go over both sides with the other razor side by side to see if we can get anything off and how both sides feel perspectively, guys, and respectively. Wow, really comfortable. Holy Cookies Anonymous. What is this, guys? Get out of town. Take your little dog with you, too. This is amazing. Yellow brick road style. Wow, guys, that is phenomenal. Get out of here. Roger, you genius. That is, I honestly, guys, that is everything and more that I would ever want. And this is a brand new Persona PTFE coated blade, guys. Brand new, and it is, oh, get out of here. Look at this, look at that line, guys. Oh, I'm sold. I actually, I, I told myself when I was shaving with the Raptor Rabbit, right? The Rabbit Raptor, Raptor Razor, guys. I told myself, there's no way another one of these inventions could shave as good as this. This may shave better than that razor. This shaves absolutely beyond words. Oh my goodness, get out of here. Very smooth, very comfortable, very efficient. I have enough blade fill where I know where the blade is. I have enough smoothness from this light, light razor to provide like, I mean, we're just gonna go to there. We're just, I may have over swiped a little bit to the other side, but guys, honestly, I'm not getting any irritation. I'm not getting any chatter. And I'm not getting any problems. This is amazing. 30 hours, whack down that fast, that easy, guys. Get out of here. Wow, guys, this is sweet beyond words. What? Yeah, this is awesome. Roger, I don't know how you came up with the design. I don't know what, what inspired this. The S handle fits so good with that little bit larger head cap. I actually think it's more balanced than the original Ender Speed Gem, right? One of the things about the Ender Speed Gem that I just don't always love is getting it to the right angle. I think everybody that's used one of those razors would attest to the fact that you have to have it at the right angle for it to be perfectly smooth. This finds that natural angle a little bit easier. It honestly is a little bit easier to use as far as getting it to that sweet spot, right? Getting it to the the spot that it just is really efficient and really smooth. Honestly, it's intuitive. I think this is as intuitive as it comes. Wow, holy cow, and it's efficient. Guys, it's whacking it down. Like I, I'm having a hard time showing you guys stubble because all the stubble's underneath there, right? It's inside that little hand. I'm having a really hard time catching the stubble photo on, um, on the camera because of where it's ending up. But you, I mean, I have, Enough audible feedback. It has less audible feedback than the uh, Raptor Razor did. Just want to keep the soap out of my eye. It has a little bit less audible feedback. I am kind of playing around angle here. I'm trying a flat angle and I'm trying a really extreme angle to kind of see how they shave side by side. I think it actually shaves sweetest kind of in the middle. You kind of ride the cap and then lift a little bit. Kind of for me. I think that's the sweetest spot, guys, because it's going to give me a little bit more efficiency. Yeah, just a little bit. Wow, that is, I don't even want to switch over to the lighter side, guys. I don't even want to go to the two. This is sweet. This is bananas with a capital B. This is awesome, guys. Wow. 
Yeah, this is amazing. I really enjoyed that. That was awesome. We are beyond smooth, guys. We are beyond smooth. I'm gonna just touch up this area right here. Maybe it going a little over on the other side. I'm not positive, but I'm just gonna do my back of my head a little bit further over so we don't miss any spots. Okay, take a look. You can kind of see some of the stubble building up right there on the, on the um, actual plate. But it's, I mean, honestly, my sink is full of stubble right now, guys. It's full of stubble. And it is smooth sailing, guys. That was, I mean, so easy. So darn easy. And the funniest part, if you guys have never done this, it's like super, super tacky, like Velcro here. Nothing. Smooth, guys. All right, let me tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to go change the blade and um, swap it over to the other razor. Then we're using apples to apples, right? We're even using the same blade. And then we'll try it on the other side. And hopefully that was easy, fast for you guys, because I know it was for me. I just wanted to swap it over to that two plate, guys, so we're not wasting blades, if that makes sense. I just don't want to waste blades when um, these blades do last a long time. And we're going over with that two, guys, and we're going to try it out and see how it compares with the three. I can tell you this. The two is smooth, and it has, like, probably 33-ish Subi stats right there, 33-ish um, percent less blade fill for me, guys. It does actually have a bunch of reduced blade fill. And with the additional um, reduction in blade fill, I do get a little bit more um, friction on the skin from the blade going through the stubble. I can actually fill the stubble. It's very smooth, but I have a little bit more fill in the handle than the other. It doesn't quite fill like I'm using a laser to, sh um, to shave with. The last one felt very similar to a laser, right? Very, very efficient, very smooth. And you couldn't really fill the stubble at all, whereas I can kind of fill it, go through this blade on the lighter two settings. I think where this um, really shines is if you are a new user to gem razors, guys. I think you're new, if you were a new shaver to gems and you wanted to try something out that was really simple to use, this two right here, guys, it's very simple, it's very efficient, and it has a lot less blade filth to it. So it's a little less intimidating. Yeah, it's just a little less intimidating, honestly. It's very smooth. I can fill the stubble just a little bit more than I could with the two, like I, or the three, like I said. But I don't think that's going to change how close it's shaving. I can tell you that much. It fills equally as close, just a little bit less blade fill. It's very interesting. I don't know what kind of sorcery witchcraft is going on here, guys. I honestly, I, I think this would be the perfect razor to take on vacations. Right, if you can find a way to have gem blades on the vacation, this is the perfect one for that because it's just very mild, very easygoing, very little thought. I would say it reminds me a ton of the Henson Aggressive to the Henson Medium Shaver. It's not like a ton, it's not like a huge step between the two of them, but I do feel like you know one is it's a little bit more thought, and you can definitely feel the difference on the skin. Wow, this is wild. This also reminds me, I know a lot of people are going to ask, um, gem-wise, it reminds me a lot of the Featherweight. This one reminds me a ton of the Featherweight, whereas the uh, standard one, guys, felt more like the G-Bar. The three felt more like the G-Bar. I think it's just because it's the little, like, I don't know, the smoothness from the extra aggressiveness it makes it feel a little bit more like the G-Bar than the than the featherweight for me. I think, honestly, if I was to compare them side by side, guys, this is really nice though. I mean, that's what we're doing, comparing them side by side. Guys, this is really awesome. I am really enjoying myself. That is great. That is gravy train, guys. That is amazing. Really is skittles -rific. That right there, cover me in a bathtub with Skittles. That is gravy train, guys. That is nice, smooth, efficient, and 3D printed really cool oh that is what i wanted man every single time oh that is great when you go to buy a razor right and you're like really hopeful that's what you're hoping for you wanted to shave like that where you pick it up the first time ever and it just shaves amazing guys keep in mind the only test swipe i did was on my arm with these two razors it's all i did was swipe on my arm once to kind of get an idea of what i was looking at really easy to use very intuitive angle very intuitive what a razor, what an idea from a guy that's passionate, right? From a guy that really um, showcases and you can feel his passion through his designs. 
I mean, talk about a person that is revolutionizing how people can shave via 3D printer. How cool is this, guys? Look at this. I'm going over with just my proto lather here, and you can see it is just smooth. It's not getting any chatter. I'm not having any corners get caught, and it is dome smooth, guys. It's glass. Okay, so we are at the point now. We're going to do a little comparison, so I'm going to relather the other side up for you guys right here. And we're gonna see if we can pull anything off with this too on this side right here. We're just gonna go over it really fast. I don't think we are gonna be able to just because of how close that three shave was, but we're gonna find out. Just lather up really quick and see how this shaves side by side. Here we go. With the two guys, this is with the two. I wanna show you guys again. So you guys don't think I'm doing any sorcery, subi magic here. Here is the three plate or the two plate guys, two plate right here. Hopefully that's coming across. I don't know if it's coming across. It may be too wet. Hold on. There we go. Just wipe it off really fast. There you go. Two plate. The blade. Okay. There we go. I just want to make sure you guys aren't like, what is going on? I'm going to grab a little alum because I've been wiping my hand on my stubble or on my uh, head. And just go right across. Again, I am using kind of like an in-between angle. I'm not like fully letting the head of the razor rest. But I'm also not like riding this super extreme uh, steep angle. It's so smooth. This too is so smooth. It's also not really able to find any stubble. I can tell you that much. I'm not getting any, you know, bite through the skin or like, you know, I'm not, I'm not feeling it getting on stubble at all. It really feels like I'm riding glass. Wow. I love the two though. For me, it's similar to the Mars Razor that I've been using a lot, you know, as far as like the seven plate. Feels very smooth, very efficient. It's kind of like the sweet spot. I honestly, I think even though the three was a really solid shave, this two is really nice and smooth. Really comfortable, really close, very efficient. I'm really trying to pull stuff off guys. Going over my trouble spots. This S handle is amazing. Really is incredible. I think the Ender Speed design was awesome. Guys, take a look at this. We don't have any stubble in there whatsoever. You can see, take a look. It didn't, I wasn't able to get anything off at all. There's not lint because we're using Mike's towel. The Hendrix towels are awesome, but we're not getting any stubble off on that, guys. No stubble whatsoever. All right, we're gonna flip it over and I'll see you guys in a sec. You can see here, we've got the three plate and we're gonna be rocking it. Let's see how it does on the other side now, guys. You can see we're just using a little bit of that um, leftover lather from the other side that we just shaved. We're going over. I mean, again, not able to pull anything off, but I can definitely feel more blade on this side, guys. I'm definitely feeling more blade on this side. I'm not really feeling anything on the against the grain stroke. So I would definitely say the two is able to keep up with the three. So your benefit from switching one to the other would really be in skin fill and overall first pass efficiency, I would probably assume. Just based on how this is shaving and going across the skin. Yeah, I'm not seeing any stubble at all on this side, guys. No stubble whatsoever. Wow, the two really did do a good job. It really did. I'm impressed. I really like this a lot. I think I, I think I actually like it more than the Rabbit Raptor. Honestly, guys, I think this one right here, I like, I like the handle. I just really like this S handle a lot. Wow. And I like this a little quieter. I actually really like that it's a little quieter. I'm looking inside of the actual little handle. I know you guys aren't going to be able to see this like inside of there, but I can see a little bit of, and there's a little bit of a smudgery. You guys, I don't even can see this. Take a look here. There's a little bit of smudgery going on. I think I'm actually able to pull off a little bit on that one pass on the very back of my head. Just one little spot, maybe right here, that I was able to pull off a little bit of extra stubble. Not a lot, just a little teeny tiny bit. So the three is giving me a slightly, slightly closer shave. Yeah, just ever, so take a look. Just ever so slightly on the smudgery there, tiny bit. But honestly, guys,
The two is gonna give you a shave that you're gonna be impressed with. I can tell you that much. I, I was really impressed with the two. The two is a very smooth, easy going shaver. If you're a person that's adverse to blade fill, if you're adverse to having a sharper edge and you know you can fill against the skin, go with that two. I'm telling you the two I would shave with and never want anything else. The three, man, it leaves you with a shave that is impeccable though. Wow, awesome shaver absolutely excellent the ngm speed from roger i mean the guy's got 2,000 subs for a reason i'm telling you wow okay today i have more burn this is the holy call the iced tea guys i am getting the more burn i did go over my head like eight times so i mean that makes sense but we are getting more burn than the raptor razor i can tell you the, the shave for me guys it's flawless there's not a razor out there that i would say shaves better I mean, maybe faster, I get a little bit faster with the leaf, or you know, you get start nitpicking here. But as far as the actual quality of the shave, God, I, 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 I'm, I'm speechless. I have no words. I do think getting the razor blade into the head is a little bit tricky because you've got to lift it. The blade, you have to actually lift up and forward. And there is quite a bit of pressure from that PVC plastic, guys, or whatever plastic that resin this is made of. I don't know if it's PVC or not. Um, PVD, it, it could, whatever plastic it is produced with, it's tight. So when you're lifting and pushing, keep in mind these little metal pieces right here are sharp. So you do have to kind of like edge it in. I did grab my towel and put it in one time and that worked really good. So if you're doing this and you're finding yourself kind of flinching as you're loading it, try grabbing a towel and lifting it up with the towel. Really good shave though, honestly, really excellent shave. Again, a razor that can be put into your shower, can be thrown into a uh, bag as you're traveling, and it's gonna be really easy to, uh, you know, make sure it doesn't get damaged because it's fully resin. Really good shave, guys, really nice, green. Everything about this shave was fire, absolutely fantastic. Again, I probably would offer the options, right? I would recommend the three to a more advanced gem shaver that wants an efficient shave that's gonna be about five steps below the Micromatic this probably falls somewhere in the G bar range. And then the featherweight would be more like the two guys. The featherweight, I know those two are similar, but there is a slight difference for me when I use them. So that's kind of where I would place these two. Both are fantastic. I would not shy away from either of them. And if you can print them both, honestly, print them both. You won't regret it. Thank you so much, Roger. Again, major shout out. I just can't tell you how much I appreciate you, admire you, and respect your designs. What an awesome, awesome shape. Phenomenal results, guys. Phenomenal, absolutely BBS quality, glass results. Thank you guys for joining me for them. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Subi Shaves, 